Hello my friends, and welcome back to part 2. As always enough talked, let's get started. First of all, let's create a main folder, where we store all stuff inside we do. So let's go in our assets section, right click, create, folder. I will name it, tutorial. Let's drag, the settings, and scenes folder, inside. Once done, let's jump into the scenes folder. Here we duplicate one time, our sample scene. The scene what's now selected is already our duplicated one. Let's click F2, and give it a name. By setting a number before the name, you can work more organized. If you are used Game Creator 1 already, you probably missed something. Right. There is no toolbar anymore. So here is a small tip. Let's click into the scene window, and hit, space. Now pops up a overlay window. Enable here game creator, and here is the new toolbar. This new toolbar you can dock as well. But for beginners, I would drag it out, then you can also see the names. That makes it a lot easier for you. Let's click on player, to create our first. Correct. Player. Excuse it. Excuse it. Excuse it. Once created, we also need a ground the player can stay on. So let's create a plane. In the inspector on the right, reset the transform, to have it in the center. Now we scale it a bit up, let's say 10 on the X and 10 on Z axis. To find our player now fast in our scene, we just double click on it. Before we start adding, more functionality to our player, I will give a little overview, what exactly the integration demos, bring to you. With the latest integration, you have now two demos. By default, you have now an basic demo. This demo is specially made for users, where don't have modules, and only want to use Game Creator 2, with ABC. So let's dive, into the basics first. In this demo, you find all basic functionality between GC2 and ABC only. Basically anything, what does not require, any module. Let's hit play for a minute, to give a fast look on. Here you see already, a working player with a couple functionality. Like jump, dodge, a fighting style combat, health and mana by ABC on bottom left, abilities and a skill book. Some game mechanics, you can find as well. Like here, you need to use a fireball, to open the door. Feel free to watch, how this all works. Let's jump into the advanced demo. Firstly, we have to unzip the demo. The fastest way doing this, just right click, show in explorer, unpack and back to unity. Once import is done, let's open the advanced demo scene. Highly important here, don't unzip it when you don't have the modules imported. Once you try open the scene Unity will crash, because of missing GC2 files. If you are unsure about how to import, please watch part 1, what is specially made for things like that. Also, if you only want to use, the advanced demo scene, you can delete the basic demo. All of the basics is of course also part of the advanced one. But, check them out by yourself. And funny to play demo, with a ton of functionality. Like level system, skill tree, companion, magic, inventory, equip and many more you can dive in.
back to our player, let's add jumping and air jumps. The first thing we do, is creating an trigger. So let's click in the toolbar on trigger. In the inspector on the right, we click, on start. And find, on input. The first you see, jump is selected by default. So we click on add instruction, and search for, jump. And that's already it. Let's check it out. By hit space, we see our player can now jump. But to make it more cool, let's add some air jumps too. For this, we click on our player, and open in the inspector, the jump section. Here you can modify, your jumps already a bit, and you see there is a air jump also. So let's enter, a 2, and for the height a 6. That's it. Now we can do air jumps. Let's jump into, the next section. Let's add a camera, here we click in the toolbar, on camera shot. In the inspector, we choose, third person. On the main camera, we have now a main camera component. Here must be the shot assigned you want to use. Normally it goes by default. Under them you can as well enable avoid clipping. And that's it. Let's jump into the final section. Let's go in the search field, and search for jump. Here we have to find, input button jump. Once found we duplicate it one time, and wait for Unity to compile. Now let's drag, the duplicate in our folder. Once moved, we just click on the X in the search field. Now we start with rename it to let's say, input buttons print. Then let's open it. Inside here we replace, the jumps, except from the icon, with sprint. And the inputs, to the keys you wish. And yes it supports cross device. So just follow this simple process along. Once back in Unity, and all is compiled. Let's click on Jump, to see what we did. In the inspector you will see, that we can now choose Sprint in the On Input section. And yes that's it. Now you have your own input you can freely use. So guys, that's it for this part of the series, we see us in the next part. US Studios, signing out.